Hey there, this is Dave Gardner, your Now Lifestyle Master Trainer. And I'm super excited to be getting in to the next video with you right now. In this next part, we're going to look at the global fields. Now, there's a crucial piece of information you need to have and fill in here in the global fields. And what that is, is the contact address. Now, if you want to be considered legitimate and to be, uh, you know, held liable against, you know, maybe if there was a canned spam act or something, we need to make sure that we actually have legitimate details. So what you need to put is your business address and likely that might be your home address unless you actually have office space. So, for example, you're going to put your street, your town, and then, you know, for example, New York. say your town, comma, your state, whatever, New York, and then your zip code. So 13031 is my zip code. So we want to make sure you have contact details there. And we want to make sure this button is clicked so that it automatically gets sent to that actual email. So anytime an email goes out, you always have that there just to prove that you're a legitimate uh, business. Now, the other thing you can add is something called a signature, and that's another automated thing that you don't have to type in every single time. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to open up the message tab just for a second. Make sure you go through and look at all the videos under the messages. So, for example, in how to do all these, and I'm going to just open up a broadcast. And so when we've chosen and we start to do stuff and we'll learn about the other parts in the actual videos associated with that section when we start to type so let's just say we're you know talking to someone we have these things called fields we can enter and so again in this scope of what we're doing is the global fields and so if we look at global fields there's certain global fields we can enter so notice i have places for 10 global fields and those are at the bottom here we're going to get to those in just a minute but this signature field file is what I really want to talk about for this next few minutes. So let's say you have a, a quote, you know, uh, let's see, life, this is one I saw from a movie years ago. Life is what happens to you while you're busy making other plans. And you could actually put anything. Maybe it's a call to action. Maybe it is uh, your link. And so we would also want to put, for example, our website. Whatever your domain is, maybe you want to put your phone number, whatever you want to put in there. So this becomes automatically held. So what we want to do is we want to click update. I want to show you how this works. So when we click it, we want to, just like in the other videos, we want to make sure that we're in the correct campaign so that this is associated with that campaign. So notice it says it was successfully updated. And so if we wanna not have to type this every single time, we can just follow a path of insert fields, global fields, and signature. So let's say we typed our uh, message out to our group. We can do this with other things too. So for example, we can pull out the subscriber first name because likely in the opt-in form, if they required or if you required a full name or a first name, they would have filled that category in there as far as some of the custom fields. And so let's say you have all your content, you're typing away and you got your letter there. And then at the very end, you sign off. And instead of having to type in that comment or this quote every single time, you know, life is what happens to you while you're busy making other plans and then your domain and any other call to action you might have, you're going to go to insert going to go to global fields and then you're just going to insert signature now notice we have this little thing here with the uh, percentage symbols and then the code global field signature and then the percentage symbols again so you don't have to automatically do it and what happens the power of the autoresponder is that it will actually populate those things so you don't have to type in everyone's first name they just automatically get it so if bob for example opted into your list and he wrote that his first name was bob and then put his email in there Every time he gets an email, it would say, hey, Bob, because you've added that in there. Now, that's only if you choose to add those fields. If you want to add other global fields, you can do that as well, and it becomes really powerful. So in the other videos, for example, with the list and the stats, we talked about shared campaigns. So let's say you're sharing a campaign with something like your Now Lifestyle program with your team. And what happens is, let's say you've created a nice email series and you've made all these emails and you've got the Now Lifestyle affiliate link in there with your username in there. 
you wouldn't necessarily want to share the emails of your sponsor's username. You'd want to have your own username. So for example, you could add in, in the global field, for example, your now lifestyle username. Or it could be the now lifestyle link. And what would happen is they could then go in and edit that later on. So in that global field, it would code to that person's username and change it when it actually automated. Maybe it's, you know, something else. Maybe it's, again, it could be another thing that they're going to add in. Maybe it could be the person's phone number. Maybe it could be, uh, you know, some other thing that they want to change or add in there so that it's personal to that actual individual who's using this. So again, very powerful. The key things, again, just to wrap this one up, you need to make sure that you have this in here, automatically add it to the end of every one of your messages. So check that box. And then if you want to have a signature, you can, you don't have to have it. And again, just the way to do that, we'll get rid of this again, just to walk you through it. You go to insert fields, global, uh, global fields, and then you click signature and it will automatically populate it here for you. And then the system will, again, when the person, when Bob, for example, gets the email, it'll say, Hey Bob, you know, whatever the content is from Dave, then it'll say, you know, life is what happens to you while you're busy making other plans and it will have your website link there. So super powerful. Key thing again to go in, for example, right now I have two campaigns. I would want to do this for both campaigns. So we would update this and again, make sure you see that it's successfully saved. If I change my campaign to go to the other campaign, we're going to notice that this is blank again and there's no global field. So we want to make sure any campaign you have, you go through and you fill in all your details. Again, this has been Dave Gardner. Thank you for watching along with this training video. Hopefully you found some immense value. If you have any questions or comments, you can always join us and hit us up in the Facebook group or support tab up top. We really want to hear about your successes with these tools and how you're actually implementing them into your niche because we want to help the family out. So as I always say, you get out of it what you put into it. And the big question that I always have for you is with all these awesome tools that you have in the Now Lifestyle family, what will you create to make your legacy and what will you create to help others so that you can make a difference in the world today.